Uh, Studying for Series 7 in the high 60s. Can't seem to get past that. So I don't know when your test date is, but let's say it's uh, 10, 12 days out. I would give yourself permission to take a day off, to refresh, reset, let your brain kind of think about it, because you might be getting a little too close to the information. That could be it. It could be you're not doing the remediation. So you're just repeating the doing a practice test without identifying your weak areas, bringing the base up. That could be it. Uh, so I got two recommendations. One, take a day off if you can, just to refresh and reset, come back to it. Your brain will be working on it. My second recommendation would be make sure you're doing remediation and maybe don't do more than one a day. Brian, your your thoughts? Performance tracker, That's right on. Yeah, depending on our time, just like you mentioned. That's right. You've got to find those weak areas in the simulated exams for, through the performance tracker. What yeah. areas are you scoring lowest? Now, for the seven, I'm always looking at two things at first. I first say options. Second thing I say, suitability. Do yeah. you know your product knowledge well enough that you can make suatable recommendations of those products based on their objectives. Those yeah, are the two you know, areas that first look at. The biggest area on Series 7, so Myra, the Series 7 is based on four critical functions of being a broker. Finding a customer, opening an account, making an investment, and what happens afterwards, the back office support unit, whatever you want to talk about there. 91 questions is function three providing basic product information to customers. And one of the ways you can attack suitability questions, because suitability questions are, are judgment questions. They're the hardest kind of questions because the three styles of questions on the exam are recognition, practical application, and judgment. There's no interpretation of a recognition question. You simply know it or you don't. The option agreement has to be back in 15 days, for example. Practical application, no interpretation about what current yield is. You either know it, can do the math or not. You want to save your misses for the judgment, about 10%. Now, if you're really solid on products, for example, you know that partnerships are not liquid, do not have a freely transferable interest, you would know that be clearly unsuitable where somebody needs liquidity. So I really want you to load up on product knowledge as it relates to suitability. Now, I do have a suitability playlist, and I will link it in the video description. I have a whole series of videos on suitability as it relates to the Series 7 practice questions, practice test, things like that. Uh, by the way, though, but Brian's point, if you target those target-rich environments like function three, that should bring your score up That's in right. terms of the actual exam. 